Well, g'day legends. Um, we're here at Second Beach on the York Peninsula. We've got uh, young Sam with us. He's come for his first real fishing trip. Uh, we're parked up in the dunes. Got some friends down there. We've got our burley in the water. And today what we're going to do um, is we're going to do a bit of surf casting. Um, but I've also bought the Gannett Sports X bait release, uh, the electronic release for my Mavic Air 2S. So for the first time ever, I'm going to give that a go. Can we catch something? Right here guys, um, we've uh, set up the drone, but we haven't attached the bait as yet. So I've got the, uh, the Mavic Air 2S. What I want to do is just um, get to about um, 30 meters, which is where we're going to be dropping roughly from. So we're at 17, 19, 21. So we're recording on the phone now. Hopefully I can add this into the video. Um, so we're just going to cruise out and we're just cruising. We've got a normal speed. We're just cruising at normal speed. So we've got, I don't think that's reef. I think we've got a little bit of weed there. So about a hundred meters and then we're still cruising out. It's just out over here. It's nice and blue. I don't really want to go too much further than 200 meters, A, because I'm not sure what's on my line. But uh, at that 200 meter mark, we're sort of almost getting to a weed line. There's a few holes through there. At 300 meters, we're pretty much in the weed. So I think we can drop from coming back now on the drone. I think we can drop uh, just in front of this weed line here. Yeah, we'll just test this return to home. So I stuffed up a few things. I brought my other larger surf rod, which is a 14 foot, um, but I bought the wrong, like it's a two piece, and I bought the wrong two piece from another surf rod. So I've only got the nine foot general purpose. So I don't really want to catch anything too big because I think it's only got about 20 pounds mono on it. Um, but uh, now that we've landed, I will give you a quick run through of the rig we're using. Um, this is my main line, goes through to a, a, a swivel. Now that's got a barrel uh, swivel hooked onto it. One is going for about a metre and a half to a dropper loop. The dropper loop goes to the drone. The other end goes to my leader. Now I'm using 60 pound leader, 0.7 mil line, which is good for the drop. Metre and a half down to a barrel, sorry, down to a three-way swivel. To a couple of uh, snelled 4.0 octopus hooks. And then about another metre and a half down to another swivel and then a drop sinker. Now, again, I stuffed up this morning or last night. I actually did a double snelled rig, uh, but I left it at home. So it took me a little bit longer. I had to get this ready. We'll lay this out. Uh, we'll put a Tommy bait on and then we'll get it up into the, uh, into the sky and drop it, as I said, about that 200 metres out. Got a couple of the packets of the... Tommy Bates at uh, Port Wakefield Bait and Tackle Camping. She's a bit frozen. I put that one through the tough bit of the head. <laughs> so, so much for that. But we've got a, um, a nice uh, one there. So I just flick it on and off. I'm gonna put that over here. Our drone is still on. <music> 201 meters, you can see the bait just dangling there. I'm going to go a little bit further towards this uh, this weed and I reckon we drop it just before this weed here. So the drop mechanism, I'm just going to let it just uh, stop penduluming there. I should be able to press this function button twice and she should drop. And there we go. Perfect drop. We're going to go up here and you can see I think we've got right tension. I'm just going to put it back down here as the drone's returning to home. And uh, we're in the water, guys. So we've got the bait out in the water. Um, as I said, I didn't bring my other rods to fish. I do have my TT Red Belly rod that I can put some soft plastics on, perhaps. But you know what? I'm actually quite keen just to not have too much going on and just keep an eye on this rod. So we'll see how we go and we'll come back if we get some action. We're just uh, waiting for the, uh, the rod to go off. Um, not really keen on stingrays or anything like that, or even sharks. I've got 60 pound on, so I'd probably get bitten off with the shark. And stingray, well, be a bit of fun to catch, but not really what we're looking for. There might be some flatties around through here. We'll put a, uh, 
reasonable size jig head on to be able to cast and uh, see what we come up with. Bikes on the big rod yet, been out there for about probably 20 minutes, half an hour. Um, I've rigged up uh, my TT red belly rod with the uh, TT snake box jig head quarter ounce size 50 hook in the weedless, trying to get it right with the five inch nuke chicken swim shad. Swim bait. Um, hopefully, yeah, in the just behind the wash here, you might find some flatties. Uh, we'll give it a flick and see how we go. Feels really heavy. Got 200 metres to wind in. Might have been a crab or something. Arms hurting even without having a fish on it. I could just imagine what winding this in would be like with a full uh, large fish on it. Might need to uh, do some more working out. It looks like we've still got a full fish on there, guys. Doesn't look touched at all. Oh, what is going on there? Oh, that's the dropper loop. Yeah, okay. Thought that was a hook. It's not, it's a drop of loop. Nope, not even a crab. Had a crack at that yet? Oh, actually. <laughs> that's quite interesting. What it actually looks like is a squid. Might have had a crack at the back of that. That might have been what we had. When I said it felt a bit heavy, hmm. Now I'm thinking about maybe putting a squid jig on it. I'll give it one more drop as is. Radio guys, we're, uh, stay there. Oh, he can't go any further, that's good. Might just cruise down a little bit, I'm not sure what they are. They might just be little bombies, little bits of weed. About nine metres. Could be a stingray actually. Not something we particularly want to catch. It's going to go up again, we don't want to be too blue and ditch into the ocean. There we are again, just short. Just gonna move a little bit over to the side here. A little bit of uh, the top right hand corner, that little bit of splashing. That should have uh, released the bait. All right, so yeah, second drop it's out there. That was a little bit interesting where that splashing was. Wasn't like it was a school of salmon or something, but yeah, didn't expect to have splashing out there. Um, so yeah, we've put it right in the middle of it and we'll see what happens. So we just wound it in for the second time and yep, lots of munching, lots of munching, uh, but that's going to be squid or crabs. So we've done a couple of drops. What I'm going to do is just put the drone up again and just see if we can see with this sun coming down see if we can see any um, schools of salmon and what I might be able to do is drop a lure in them if we can find them but yeah let's see how we go just seeing if we can find any schools to start with I mean it's a little bit disappointed that we haven't had any bites but I'm kind of happy that I've I guess had this first session of um, drone fishing uh, happy that we haven't put the drone in the water, that's number one. Uh, as I said, we're not on the ideal rod, we're only on the 9 foot, and I really wanted to be on the 12 foot. So, you know, we're learning. And we're just going to go along the beach. That's not a school of salmon, that's more weed. Lively blue water, but there doesn't seem to be too much around. <laughs> I don't know, I'm a, bit, I'm a bit torn about what I should do. Um, there just hasn't been really any sign of fish out here at all today. I have heard that there's some squid at Port Victoria Jetty. So I don't know guys, should we head out to Port Victoria Jetty and at least get a feed for the, uh, for the drive as this sun starts to come down. I think we've learned a bit today. I think we've learned that yes, we can do the drone fishing. I'm gonna be back on York Peninsula next week for a week working slash fishing. So I think um, we can have a bit more fun with the drone fishing then and see if we can't hook up onto something reasonable. So we've learned, as I said, we've learned how to do it. We're comfortable doing it. It's, it's a beautiful way to fish. I think you're down at the beach, you're getting out there. Let's head to the jetty. Let's see if we can, um, if we can catch some squid. Yeah, radio guys, so we're down at the Port Victoria jetty now. Um, not sure how long this light's gonna go for, but um, we'll give it a go. 
Um, got a couple of teasers out there and um, we'll get a squid jig in the water as well. A guy that came through while I was out on the beach said that they were catching really big ones here and they were so big they needed a crab net to get them up. So I've got my bigger rod here, not my normal eggy rod. Um, it's got a bit more line, a bit more heavier line on it because I don't have a gaff or a, a crab net to get them up. But let's see how we go. So we swapped sides because those floats were going in that direction, even though the wind is coming a little bit in this direction. We'll see if we can hook up. As I said, I'll do my best with the lighting. We know the GoPros don't like the light and you, as you can see, the, the sun is coming down. Uh, we'd like to catch a couple of squid just to make the trip worthwhile. As I said, I think we learn a lot with it. I think we learn a lot with the drone fishing, but you know, you always still want to uh, catch something when you go out fishing. So uh, let's see what we can rustle up. Well, radio guys, the light's gone, so I guess watch these videos next. <laughs>